Hello everyone, I hope you all are doing well and welcome to the final fan to play fantasy match preview for the game between England and Pakistan. Yes, there was a lot of hype that it's going to be India Pakistan at the MCG, but not all good things are to be at the present time and maybe it's something for some time later. And we have Nikhil Bhai with us today to carry you through his preview and also maybe give you some thoughts on that last game. No thoughts on the last game. It's it's <laughs> fine. It's a game. It was it had issues that had that needed to be highlighted. And sometimes you need wake up calls like those to mm. really just shake you up and rather than just tell that it's okay. So uh, hopefully the right lessons are learned. And I do care an umbrella for the finals because there is lots of rain predicted uh, for the final and also for the reserve day. So yeah, time. Hai. Be smart, invest smartly, wait till you see the toss and the plane 11 and the exact hmm. start time. I'll say do not invest right. in haste, wait hmm. because a lot of things could change. These two sides have incredible personalities and they could really play around with your bowling and batting orders for fun. So hmm. once you have a legitimate toss, line up and play uh, game information, then invest. Right, very fair call at that. and. While uh, England are not ready to share the Kohinoor back with us, they might have to share this World Cup if rain turns up on both days at 100% and 95% chance of rain. But there's something to turn you away from all the noise, like you can see on your screen. Something to phase away, phase you away from all the daily stuff that happens. Just put on some headphones and phase out from the world. So we thought we can do this much for you from for the final to spruce up your mood yeah. a bit because there's no healer like music. So free headphones and thousand rupees giveaway. All you need to do is use this code FCP Final. Download the Fan to Play app from the link in the description, and you can make these beautiful headphones yours and phase out all the noise. Hopefully, we will be able to Just to be very honest and thankful, we have had a very decent World Cup. Uh, hmm. Despite the number of crazy results, we have still done fairly well. Uh, above average, I will say. Because uh, the average this year has been crazy. So, uh, hopefully, we can close this uh, tune and off with a, with a good one. Yes, absolutely. And one disclaimer, please don't come with the base team in the giveaway contest. Sab apna alag -alag khelo, thoda visualize karke, khud se soch ke, so that we have some crazy winner who is going to go up and take number one. Because clash hoga to my headphone to do me to de sakta. Hon. So let's look at first up what pitch conditions we have for this game. So like we mentioned, the game is going to be played at MCG where there's 100% forecast of rain on day one, 95% on day two. But as for whatever we hear, there is some slight improvement and we saw that in the India-Pakistan game too. Until two days before, there was no chance of a game and then suddenly there was not even a drop of rain. So yes, while it can go either way, keep in mind that conditions would still be wet and that could assess, assess, assist pace, pace bowling and it could also assist some sloggy outfields. Yes, so again, as you said, it's few MCG members, they have pace, bounce, or carry coffee. And both these sides have a lot of pacers. And they also have, I think, two to three spinners in their ranks. So hmm. conditions become very, very important for you. Because if you overcast, you don't have to say that 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 you don't have to say that. Same might be the case with both Iftikar Ahmed and Dian Livingstone. So hmm. be very careful. England could still bolt them. And Pakistan also could chill both them because that is how this year has been. So uh, try your combinations, but be very sure of the conditions. Because, uh, this venue is not as much for batting; it is more for pacers. So good, good, good bowlers of good fast bowlers and good players of pace. I think this could could be your criteria to select a base team. Yes, and we've seen somewhere about 160 has been a good score on this pitch. So, this might not be the pitch where you require 190 to win the game, especially with yeah. the dimensions being pretty big square. So, let's look at what best pace team we can set up for this game.
so this is the base team we have currently set up for this game and we have made maximum use of the combination by going with just two keepers and two batters so we have gone with all four openers and if you're wondering why or why not we'll discuss that in the gl scenarios on how you can drop and where but for now based on form and based on the fact that all these four guys are the ones who have got their team into this position in the final it's not worthy to drop them from your small league teams and your points of discussion would be in the all rounders because here we have gone stokes sam karen and shadab but if conditions are wet then shadab might not be captain the candidate in that scenario yes and see the point with the top four is if it, if it's a reduced game those become even more they become even more critical because they like india so they could do it all by themselves and the pakistan counterparts are very much the same that and we've seen that happen in the recent series that these two sides played so a handy side note would be to uh, go back to the previous series that these two countries played they played a lot hmm. of flat decks as well so wahan pe jao dekho kya hua tha ab to gl ke liye idea mil jayega ki wahan se ki kaun sa player kis role mein use use ho sakta hai particularly because ben stokes and josh butler they didn't play so hmm. you have to be very sure of where they are going to be used kyunki ab david malan nahi hai तो बेंच स्टोर्स की बैटिंग आनी चाहिए और वो बोलिंग भी कर रहे हैं और एम है तो सब जगह से आपको वैसे पूरे पर कच्चे चेटे उठाने पड़ेंगे क्योंकि दिस टू साइड्स हैव अ लॉट ऑफ वाटर हाउस तो आप कौन से ऑलराउंडर पे बैट करें जैसे हमने कहा अगर स्पिन कंडीशन नहीं है तो डू यू स्टिल गो एट दिशा और ही बट अगर ओवर कास्ट है तो क्या वो फिर भी अच्छा करेगा या गोइंग विद नसीम शाह इन वसीम मच भी बेटर तो दैट इज अल दैट यू है taking the conditions in mind right and someone has to avenge himself anyway for a t20 world cup final so it there might be no yeah. better occasion for mr ben stokes to do that and in the bowling we have gone with again the four in form bowlers if wood plays this game we don't see wokes playing and hence we have gone with both yeah. jordan and wood but maybe you can slot out jordan for extra pakistani bowler if he bowls second as we observe that most of his wickets come bowling first and without any disrespect i felt many of those wickets came at not such great deliveries because he got he conceded quite a few runs even in the india game yeah but i'll not say anything such because i love those wickets <laughs> when they come in my over so uh, that bowling the upon kabhi complain nahi karenge uh, same is the case with sam karan i think which is why uh, sam is your hmm. vice captain again sam played a key role in that recent series to jaisa maine kaha hai ye do time sides kafi khele ek dusre ko they know each other's strength and weaknesses now it's about getting that key player for the right conditions on that very day so i'm sure a lot of you might see a very common team as well but your captain vice captain and your differential bowlers i think will decide who does better in terms of the contest you join right absolutely and we hope all of you are participating in the leaderboard contest too the car is one step away so make your best set of teams and apart from that i know all of you have already participate are going to be participating in this one the headphone giveaway use the code fcp f i n a l and you will be eligible and yes just because the prizes don't end and because we are audio lovers the speaker giveaway is also due and again it's the last game so make sure that you make your best investments in this one i will be putting up the leaderboard ranking update either by today evening or by tomorrow morning before the game so you have an idea of how much you need to cover the lag bilkul to bilkul jaisa mera base team hai investment hai ab mere itne rewards hai ki main thoda thoda blank karu ki kya kya hai jo aap jeet sakte ho there is a red phone there is a car there are other leaderboard prizes there is this scp leaderboard as well तो मेक द मोस्ट ऑफ इट बट अगेन लाइक आई सेड इसमें तो पार्टिसिपेट आप कर ही लो बट ओवरऑल उससे ज्यादा इन्वेस्टमेंट करने के पहले सोचना पर इसमें जरूर इन्वेस्ट करना absolutely so we hope that all of you enjoy that part of it and now let's look at our grand league scenarios as well as grand league options So Nikhil Bai will cover the scenarios where England is batting first, whereas I'll look at the scenarios where Pakistan bats first. So over to you, Nikhil Bai. Bilkul. And uh, before I get there, I'll tell you the two names for the uh, for who I feel might be part of all three of my combinations. So from England, it's going to be Ben Stokes. Oh. Uh, 
no doubt that big match player has been so far away and uh, now with no david milan i think his responsibility increases multiple times so ben stocks and the counterpart for him in the england side in the uh, in the indian side nahi in the pakistan side is iftikhar ahmed uh again like in the last game i went with hardik and stokes same logic here iftikhar and ben because iftikhar has been that glue which is allowed babar and rizwan to fail as well so uh agar conditions mein thodi bhi spin ko help hoti hai thodi bhi halki bhi jala hoti hai to iftikhar might bowl but i still feel his role with the bat might be very critical for pakistan to do well so ye to ho gaye do picks now talk about three scenarios that i think uh, are likely to happen like always first is Josh hmm. Butler bats through, and they lose wickets at the other end. Uh, Josh को खतरा ज़्यादा सिर्फ शाबाब से as in, as compared to matchups. बाकी सब को उनके average इतनी अच्छी नहीं है head to head में, but he's only open twice I think. So do not go hmm. too deep into those head to head numbers. So one case is Josh Butler anchors uh, like he did in that uh, first game against Sri Lanka last World Cup, and then he really accelerates towards the end. And then in the second innings, we've seen their fast bowlers do very well. Uh, like in MCG, it's mm-hmm. easier at times to defend because if you get a good score, so under pressure you can do that. And now is when you can use Mark Wood, Sam Curran, uh, Chris Jordan, give us a bench stocks as well as a key player. And then you will obviously have Ajay Rashid playing a decent hand there as well. So batting me, your Alex, uh, Alex Hales, your Harry Brook. In dono me se kisi ek ko apko pick karna hai, unki. Alex is in good form, but I am expecting Shahin Shafidi to take one wicket out early. So, who do you bag out of group? Livingston might decide how much that Grand League team works. So, that is one scenario. And the other is Pakistan, Duo Pakistan, they take out the top order early. And then you have all all-longers coming in the game. You have Ben Stokes, Liam Livingston, Sam Curran and Harry Brook. All these four scoring and the wickets are also distributed among them only because there are three bowlers there. Who could potentially bowl to allow us for you? So, one up, so then you bowl and logge in Marpur or Chris Fox, who is playing. So, one scenario is the openers don't click, uh, but one anchors, and hmm. the other is where you see both the openers fail, and then the middle order just you know carries through. And then uh, number three is there is a surprise promotion because this is the year of that, and you have <laughs> somebody like a Mohin Ali. uh coming in and scoring a 60 70 and then also coming in with the ball and taking three four wickets because pakistan have played off spin very okay they haven't been great at that so that is a proper jai mata di mohin ali special grand league uh, suggestion so yes thoda sha samay overlap hoga but you have to remember form se masti nahi to usko madde nazar rakhte hue aap combination karo Right, I've been backing Mohin Ali all through this tournament, and he's done nothing for me. So maybe this is the game for me. I have two scenarios for Pakistan because I see Pakistan batting going only two ways. One way is that if when this is while they're batting first, we are assuming that England do get some help and movement from the pitch and the bounce troubles the Pakistani batters because that is what catches them at suspect. So. If that happens, I like I don't see that if Babar or Rizwan one of them go out early, the other one sticking in because that's not only been the trend, but I see that they seem to be complementing each other very well, but they also seem to lose composure equally easily when the other one is not present, and in a pressure final that is very much possible. And for me, the other scenario is that both of them stick in at the start, maybe till the seventh. or eight over and then the likes of iftikhar and the likes of masood maybe not masood masood in the first scenario iftikhar shadab and nawaz in the second scenario because while nawaz might not bowl he can get a promotion with a bat and we see with pakistan that they give confidence players a chance so if he scores 30 of 18 with a bat you will then see him bowl even to left hander so it could be that kind of day for nawaz and uh, yes these are the these are only the two things that i look out for and in the bowling innings i just this is just my gut feel based on whatever we see in terms of the conditions and how i from whatever i saw shadab bowl in the last game i feel like their pacers might be able to rule the roost someone like nasim shah and harris roff might be it might be the ones to look out for at this pitch because they are the ones who hit the deck and this is harris roff's home ground 
so i feel like they would be the ones to watch out for more than the spin while the spin can give you like both the spinners can give you overall good amount of fantasy points to stay in your dream team i feel like the pacers would be the ones who could get the key wicket so yes maybe that's how you frame up your combinations and uh, yes that that was it apart from that the two grand league picks for me while nikhil bhai already gave his for me if pakistan bat first like i mentioned i'm very inclined to look at shan masood because i am not expecting babar rizwan to play that kind of knock and they have picked up adil rashid now that is if he's bowling second i have backed some players all throughout so let's see if that backing pays off in this specific game and one surprise question for nikhil bhai before we end this preview uh, nikhil bhai tell us your man of the tournament uh very tricky i think between chada and uh, jos it might be between these two i would have given it to surya but uh, uh, it might be between chada and uh, right very fair call so let's see who is the man of the tournament at the podium my man of the tournament is not even in the nomination so i don't know if it's worthy of mentioning but if pakistan win this final my man of the tournament is iftikhar ahmed because the amount of times that he has been counted out by not only external people but even pakistani experts and then for him to come and play two such knocks against big teams and to hold his own i think that too when you don't when you're not known for that technical know how i, yeah. I think that increases respect to notches for him so yes. i feel if pakistan win i don't know about on the podium but at least in the dressing room he should be the man of the tournament mm-hmm. and all of you enjoy you participate in all the leaderboards and contests we hope all of you enjoy the final and we'll see yeah. you all super soon again thank you so yes. much for staying through us with all of these previews we hope you enjoyed them Yes, thank you so much always for tuning in and your constructive feedback. Hopefully, we'll see you soon again. And if you want, please do tweet to us and also, of course, to Ben. Thank you so much for all yes. your kind words right through. Happy meetings. Yes, and while there's no uh, jersey giveaway for this game because we're doing the headphone giveaway, you can still tell us your man of the match in the finals because yeah. we have enjoyed all your comments. So do do that and enjoy the yeah. finals. Thank you so much. Cheers.